Today I will show you how to make a backup image in Macroom Reflect 7 Free so you can backup and image your entire system to another drive or an external drive. If you are backing up to an external hard drive, there is a setting you need to set in Device Manager. Right click on the Windows symbol and click on Device Manager or search for Device Manager. In Device Manager, expand under Disk Drives and here you can find your external hard drive. Right click on your external hard drive and click Properties. Under Policies, it's usually set to Quick Removal. You'll need to change this to better performance. Otherwise, the complete backup process will not go through. Select Better Performance and click OK. Note, when you have set this setting, you will need to expand the arrow, right-click and select Eject when you want to remove the external hard drive from your system. Using better performance mode, it will be faster to use and will work for doing the backup, but it will also need to be removed by first being ejected and just not unplugged, like you will usually just drag out a USB stick. So make sure to click eject before you unplug it. When you have successfully installed Macroom Reflect Free via the link in the description, you can launch the application. Inside the application, it will find your drives. You can refresh it if it didn't find a particular drive. This first drive is my internal hard drive, the second one is the USB drive. To back up the drives, we will click the backup tab up here. Then we will select Image Selected Disks. This will get up the disk image selection. The disk image will make an image of the entire hard disk or SSD. It will copy all the data and make an image. You can then paste this data on a fresh disk and you could, by that way, restore your system to the exact very thing it was when you did backup. Here we can select the source disks. It has pre-selected all the disks that was selected in the program here. But of course the first disk is my system disk, my SSD. The second disk is the USB disk. This is the one I want to copy to. So I will uncheck this. But I want to backup my regular hard drive. Down here we can select destination. It is pre-selected F slash backup. I don't think this is the correct location. And we will of course need to open it and make sure it is the correct location. So we'll click the three dots and browse. Here we have my Seagate backup drive plus, which is the USB drive we want to copy to. Expand and find the location where we'll want to store the backup. Then we'll click OK. It will now store it in D, Backup. Make sure and review the data is correct. You can leave this unchanged. By the way, if you want to only make an image, a copy of parts of your hard drive, you could potentially uncheck some parts you do not wish to copy over. However, I would suggest you keep all checked. You never know when you need one of these recovery partitions or others. I actually needed one of these small partitions recently to save my system. Then we'll go and select Next. If you wish to, you can select a backup plan. This will make Macrium automatically make backups of your system according to these following rules. I do only wish to make backups when I feel like it, so I will select None. 
then you can see there are defined retention rules and you don't need to set anything else that's said here. By the way, other than the retention rules here for old backups, we also have advanced options. If you want to, you can decrease or increase the compression rate of the backed up files. You may also turn off intelligent sector. This will make a so-called forensic copy of the drive, which means that all traces of deleted files, for example, will still be here. If you don't need to try and reconstruct deleted files or partitions from the made image, you should probably have select intelligent sector or keep this selection because this is of course default. There are also some other specific settings you can have here like shutting down the system when it's complete or even send you an email when it's complete, which can be useful for companies. But we will change none of these settings under advanced and just click next. Here you can review everything you have set up. When everything looks nice, you just click finish. All right. If you're very happy about your setting and setup for this particular backup, you can save it as XML backup definition file. Then you can just double click that file and it will make this exact backup as we have set up. I will not use this feature, but you can if you want. Then you will just click OK. Now the backup will start. Remember that we are backing up an entire one terabyte. We are backing up the entire system and this will take several hours. If you need to go to sleep or something, you can go on on completion, shut down. If you want to do other stuff when you are doing this backup, it may be a good idea to set it at medium or low priority. When the backup is complete, you will of course be prompted. And while my computer is shut down, um, you can of course start up the hard drive where it has been backed up. Here we can see we have the backup file. This is the entire image of my hard drive. And it's of course in the folder we designated. While it would have been more than one terabyte, it is in compacted format only 814 gigabytes. So this is how to make a backup of your entire system using Macroom Reflect Free. If you want to apply this image to a hard drive, you will need a clean hard drive that can fit this file and you will of course use Macroom Reflect to apply the image. To do that, you can launch the Macroom Reflect and then you will just select Restore. And then you will select Browse for an image or backup file to restore. Select a backup file and click Open. When you have selected the image you want to restore, you just click Restore image here. Here you can select which parts of the image you want to restore. So for example, maybe I hurt my boot drive, so I'll need to restore these partitions. Then I can click next and it will prompt me about this information. But of course, you should not do this if you don't need to. When you restore to an older image, you will delete all new files and programs and everything you have done from the point of backup until now, which I guess you understand. We will therefore click cancel on this one. Hopefully this video has helped you to make a backup of your entire system. This is very helpful if you need to restore your entire system problem free. If you do not want Macroom Reflect to start automatically when you start Windows as a background service to help you manage your drives, you can of course disable that, but you'll need to disable it from a startup menu. I find it easiest to use the CC cleaners under tools and startup. 
here, you can find the Paramount Software Reflect UI. Disable that and then it will not start automatically. Some people may find it handy to have this program all the time uh, and help them keep track of their drives and everything they do with them. And backups, of course, if you select automatic backups, you need to have this running in the background. I prefer to do things manually and I only want it to run when I want to use it. So if you want to use automatic backups, please do not turn it off. Only if you are doing manual backups when you want to, like me, you can turn it off via startup. Well, I hope this tutorial helped you. And now you should have a fantastic secure copy of your system on a external or internal drive, which you can basically copy back the data from if you lose something or restore entire partitions or even the entire drive. Fantastic. Well, if you did like this video, please leave a like and do subscribe for future videos. This is your host, Jim Odesen, signing out.